the northern Chinese martial art, Ba Gua Zong, is best known for its flexible footwork and for being the inspiration for airbending on Avatar and Korra. A Ba Gua Zong practitioner can spend hours a day for a lifetime working on perfecting the basic circle step. From an outside perspective, this seems a bit odd, bordering on silly. To most of us, stepping is a simple thing. We've done it for a long, long time, and it's never really given us any cause for pause. For a Bagua practitioner, however, it's a far distance between the exercise and controlled falling that is how most people walk to the meticulous and precise world of combat footwork. Every family of Bagua practitioners has their own unique way of breaking down footwork. If you are interested in a compare and contrast, please check out my earlier video on the Chung family stepping method of Master Ni Hua. In this first video in our series on the Yang footwork, we are going to take a detailed look at the fundamentals of stepping taught to new Bagua students, as it was taught to me by my Shifu, fifth generation master Zhang Shuyan, in the Temple of Heaven in South Beijing. Foundational footwork, or Jivan Gung stepping, is methodical, bordering on robotic. This basic version of stepping is a far cry from the flexible footwork displayed by a master, and would be impractical in a fight. This is because Jivan Gung stepping is not designed for combat. The simple and formulaic structure is easy to replicate and provides novice students with a readily obtainable benchmark for progress. Stepping in this way is practiced for the first several months to years of training. The early form of Liang Bagua Jibun Gung stepping focuses on a few key points and begins with how the foot leaves and contacts the ground. In the Liang stepping method, the foot begins to move at the great toe. As the big toe lifts, the rest of the foot peels and follows. Once in the air, the foot moves parallel to the ground, passing the grounded leg between the medial malleolus and the arch of the foot. The foot continues to move forward a very small distance, often less than a foot length in the beginning, and settles down back on the ground. Once contact is made, the toes grab the ground like a dickish cat raking carpet. The weight is pulled forward and the process is then repeated, and thus basic stepping is achieved. While walking, the stance is high and the spine's relaxed. When starting a stepping practice in Bagua Zong, always remember that slower is best. Fast stepping can look rad, but upping the speed too quickly is detrimental to your development. Slow methodical stepping is key for developing ankle and foot flexibility, leg strength, balance, and coordination and motion. Constant work on these fundamentals will set you up for a very strong Bagua Zong practice. Once a baseline level of competency is achieved, it's time to add in some spice. Next week, we'll go directly to the master himself, Mai Shifu Zhang Shuyan, as translated by my training partner and kung fu brother, Fritz Rice. We will begin this series on the deeper aspects of Liang stepping by delving into the proper foot angle when walking a circle. Thanks so much for watching.